Cool, so we're just driving down the beach now. There's a, uh, there's, what is that? Do you know what barge that is out there? You know, I forgot what barge that is, but. Uh, Looks like they're, uh, they're resting now, but I'm sure they get a lot of gold. Yeah, yeah, that, that barge is everywhere. And there's a crawler right here. Look at that thing, that's like a surf crawler. Yeah. That's, that's what the, Vernon's interested in buying, yep, maybe. That's, yep, that's the one Vernon wants to get. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Here we got, this is a dredge that's been down here since for two years now and it's been set in the same spot. Nobody's ever oh, really? moved it. Nobody ever steals it, no. Oh, oh. Nobody ever, you know what I mean? That's the You can just leave your stuff right there and yeah, no one steals it, huh? Stealing a gnome is like... Yeah, you can't go anywhere, right? Yeah. So everyone knows you're going to steal it. Yeah, it's very rare. There's no roads out, so... Okay, and here's a gentleman. We're going to stop and get pictures of this. This guy, they tried to kick him off the beach and he said, no way, no oh, that, go. That shack right there? He lives in there. Okay. He's lived in there for 20 years and he's kind of homesteaded. Yep, yep. And uh, that's that's where he lives. I mean, can you imagine that one? <laughs> Good thing there's no hurricanes around here. Oh my goodness. There's yeah. another little homestead over there, a little tent. There's a little tent. And then we're moving on down the beach. Up here, we're, uh, I'll show you, start introducing you to, to some people. So pretty much anywhere here in down the beach is good gold, right? You can do pretty well. You can beat mine here anywhere you want down through here. You can set up your boxes, and yeah, there's gold. There's gold all through here. So this is kind of state land. There's no claims right here. It's it's no, it's it's owned by uh, the, the native corporation. Okay. But they they allow people. They don't mess around too much. Now to the right of us. This guy is, he bust ass. Yeah. Last year he had piles of dirt bigger than his truck. Really? He was, he was running, yeah. Wow. And now he's got a dredge because this, this uh, the beach this year is, is no good. Yeah. It's, it's hard to, uh... okay, we got Alex. Oh, there's Alex. That's his dredge right there, huh? His tent. Yeah, that's Alex's stuff right here. Oh, cool. And there's Alex's box. That's Alex's box, yeah, yeah. there's his little thing. And there's a friend of mine right there. <laughs> He's, uh, we can go up there and talk to him. He's mining, yeah. You want to do it now? Uh, or on the way back? We can do it on the way back. Alright. <laughs> yeah, cool. So that's a, like one little city right there. Look at this. You can see the red sand right here. Look yeah, at that. that's where the gold's at. The red sand and the red black sand. sand yeah. That's where uh, you're getting the gold. There's just beach boxes. Look, so no one steals anything here. That's huh? Brian's and that one is uh, Kai's. Kai's is right there. Yep. So people just leave their stuff right on the beach, no problem, no... No thieving, man. Jeez, well. Nope, there What's that up there on the hill there? That's uh, Macaulay's uh, uh, nice house. Little, he was going to nice put little. it up there and, and move oh, up there because he owns it. They own all this up the land up here. That's cool. There's yeah. Kai's tent. Oh, that's Kai's tent, yeah. yeah that's He's his place. level that out a little better, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, continuing. Wow, look at the surf. That's why no one's out today. It's pretty rough over here. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Yeah, people just make uh, little shacks with whatever they can find, huh? Yeah, like look, that one. See how he's blocking the wind? Yeah, he's blocking the wind. Yeah. yeah. So you come down here and live anywhere. Man, look, at that, look at that hole. Jeez, there's just red sand and that thing. Yeah, that looks pretty good, huh? I mean, this guy down here has got it fixed up pretty good. Yeah. Cruising down the beach here. Here's another guy working it. You know this guy? Roger. Your name's Roger. Nice, nice to meet you, Roger. How you doing? Broadworth, originally from Michigan. Been here. This is my third summer here in Nome. This is my wife Paula. Hey, Paula. How you doing? <laughs> nice to meet you. Sorry, I got to do it backwards. <laughs> twenty-four years. They've been together twenty-four years. Wow, that's a long time. <laughs> First, I gotta have. So, Roger, do you uh, live here for the summer? Or? Yeah, the summer. This is well. My son has autism. He's in acreage right now. Yeah. I got some people taking care of him. He's 15. And and what are we doing right now? Right now I'm gonna clean this top mat. I had a pile okay. here. All right. And it was a little bit bigger than both of those piles. It was a huge pile. This one right here. This one you're yeah. feeding the box. That was huge, huh? It was a huge pile. All right. So you've been running quite a bit. Now we're gonna do a clean out. Sure, All right. I want to see what's in there. Yeah, well, let's let's check it out. Let's see what we got. And, uh, so, uh, how many buckets do you think you've been running through this I right now? Ran, I'd say twenty buckets. Okay. So this clean out's about twenty-five gallon buckets. Yes. All right. Twenty-five gallons. And how long does that take you to run? Well, 
Well, I've been running since about two o'clock. Oh, okay. So a couple hours. I don't know what time it is. Right it is. Yeah, I don't know. Time you we got there, Gary. Time out here. <laughs> it's five oh six. Five oh six. Been running for three hours. Three you, hours. You lose track of time out here, and like last night, it didn't get dark until one o'clock in the morning. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it was like still daylight. I still. She goes, "Are you gonna come to bed? It's one o'clock." It doesn't seem like one o'clock. And but it was. Wow. Yeah, we all go through that here in Nome. So, uh, well, before you take a uh, clean out, what kind of system you got here? This is a, a Midas box. It actually made in Louisiana. Okay. Down south. This is a little circulating system. It's low on water right now. I have to refill my tote. What this does is I have a screen here. Okay. To catch the the, oh, yeah. the weeds and the brush and whatever. Okay. So it don't go in my pump. It just goes through this box down here and out into here. Just okay. Keeps, keep going. Keeps recirculating. So you don't have to keep on going down to the water and getting new water. And so, uh, that's pretty. Cool. So yeah, let's see. No we, gas. How do you no how do you got the power? No gasoline needed. No trommel need or stinger needed. That's so you, pretty cool. Do you know how many watt panel this no is? Hoses. This is a five watt um, solar panel. Okay. Which works a lot better when, <laughs> when it's nice and clean. Dirty. Yeah. And you get sun so much here, or all daylight so much here. All night. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah, it was not getting dark at all. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so you have 24 hours of daylight, so that just keeps the battery stopped off. It's actually a pretty cool system. This piece here yeah. is punch plate. Keeps the all right, you got some punch plate. Going down to that looks like vortex mat. Well, you got rib matting first. Yep, and this down to the is vortex. Actually, uh, the vortex mat down into the carpet. And then you got your little grizzlies here. And on the bottom box, you got some expanded metal over some miner's moss. Nice, yeah, that's cool. You know, pretty nice. Any visible gold right there? Oh, there should be. Most of it's going to be under this dirt. All right. So the gold here is really small though, right? On the beach? Well, I did find... Oh, hand okay. Hand me that picker that you, we found. Oh, you found a picker? Yes, sir. Oh, awesome. I found a nice picker right over there, actually. I put a rock and mark my spot over there where I found that picker. Oh, you claimed your spot right over there. Well, I might want to go back <laughs> there and dig a little deeper. I yep. just haven't... True story, when I first got here, I found quite a bit of gold in this area. Did you? Yeah. So you I've, you've worked this area. I've worked this area right here. This was this was washed down to uh, to like hard pan, and really? I worked this area, and I got quite a bit of gold out of it. Yes, I did. Oh, cool. I'm pretty sure this should have quite a bit of gold in it. So that's your, just your top rib mat. Just the top. There'll be this will be. That will be loaded. This will be loaded here. But this is just uh, where the pickers usually stay. Yeah. It's up here in the top. The biggers, bigger stuff. A bit too much water. I'd like to be able to see what's in here. It's a good color over here. I was hoping I could find a nug another <laughs> nice nugget, but. Oh, there's a little bit of gold in there for sure. There's some gold in there. Yeah, nice little smiley face. <laughs> Camera probably won't pick this it up, it's a little be, small. This mat will be here. Yeah, that one will be loaded. That one will be, be really loaded. She's gonna show us, she's gonna show us some, um, some gold that they've been getting. Yes, that, this mat will clean up. I think I see a nice little smaller flake right there. Yeah, we're gonna clean that out. Yeah. We'll clean that out into another pigment. Let's check out what you got up here. Yeah, let's check out. That should be loaded with flowers. <laughs> There's a... Oh, cool. Look at that. Wow. This is right off the beach? Right there where that rock was. <laughs> That's some good looking stuff right there. You see that there, man? That's a nice picker. Yeah, it's a nice picker. Look at this. So that's a uh, typical gnome uh, beach Wednesday. gold, right? Gnome beach, beach So that's gold. Wednesday? That yep. was uh, wow. about the same size pile. Yeah. That's good looking stuff. Thank you. I do have you one guys more. are hitting it. See Andrew here. <laughs> I want to show you one more special thing. That's a real nice picker. Was that on clay or was yeah, it? Yeah, it's hard pack. It's hard pack right over there. It's hard pack. So just right, really, right there, right on the beach. Really hard to get. Really That's cool. You can take a pick. 
pick it, make a pile, and then go through it. Yeah. It might take you two hours to get a pile that big. Yeah. Two, three hours. Because this, like you said, this yeah. is really hard. You can't shovel it. So, do you have a technique? You take a uh, first foot off or six inches off, and then? Well, at first, I've been taking the. Well, I moved in the overburden. Six yep. inches is completely gone. Okay. Just don't. So even you just run throw it. it away. The first yeah, six inches. Six inches. Don't run it at all. It's really light, fluffy. You, there's gold in it, but you're not gonna get. It's not worth it. Not really worth your time. Yeah. So you clear off six inches, and then and do you start seeing some red sand and? And usually try to find the pay layer, which yeah. is best on top of the clay. Okay. Is where you're gonna find your pickers. That's that's a good stuff. Yep. On the clay. Cool. If you notice, oh, right over here, how high the clay is. These big boulders. Yeah. Some huge boulders. You can see them. And if you go up, see how high the clay, that's black, really hard clay. Okay. Up there on the high bank. Yeah. And it's just like this. So you like. There's more of it over there. You like try to find the bigger rocks, the bigger boulders, and then. There's actually two boulders about the size of a four wheeler that are covered up with sand right now. Oh, wow, okay. Last year they were right, right about there, huge boulders. And of course, all these got pushed up here. All yeah. These rocks. Literally got pushed up here. Well, do you think this is uh, an old creek right here? Yeah, yeah, this is. is actually where the tailings from the dredge come out. Yeah. Okay, so the big dredge is that's behind here. This is where the tailings were. Come up here, turn where the dredge is. All right, let's go take a look. He says there's a big dredge up here. <laughs> That's number six. The let's say one week. The number six dredge. Number six. Oh yeah, we got video of number YouTube six. Videos. Actually, this is where the tailings came out, I believe. So what's this here? Is this just uh, your clothesline? Clothesline. Oh okay. I wasn't sure if it was something to hold uh, the sides back or something. Oh no, that's just a clothesline. <laughs> Hang our clothes on it. Yep. Yeah. So this is where you stayed. Did you make this? Actually, this 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 shack was here. Oh, you kind of uh, just uh, took it over? Oh, it needed a lot of work. I yeah. put the floor oh, okay. in it, I put the walls oh, in it. Oh, he done a lot of work yeah. this thing. Yeah. I actually want to replace the window that's busted out. And yeah. Get a new, I need two windows. Um, so this is kind of cool. So this is like, you just kind of make your claim here, huh? Bob. And, <laughs> Bob this is the Emily, real deal. Bob and Emily, uh, Emily, Bob, diver. Yep, yep. Lent me this thousand dollar heater sitting here oh nice so I have a, oh it's nice and warm in here i have a heater yeah so that you keep warm right here oh look they got the big bed and shit jeez that's a nice bed <laughs> you're living better than we are <laughs> i found this sink believe it or not I yeah the sink a mile on cool. the back and put the sink in nice, nice. oh look at this man. that is nice this, this is <laughs> you dude could, He's living better than we yeah, are. Yeah, look at this bed. You got a real bed. <laughs> we don't even have a bed. We got a cot. <laughs> and then we got that looks comfortable. For guests. That's nice, man. Nice. Seriously. And then when it rains, no problem? No problem. With the roof? I mean, why cool. get in a tent when you've got I've this I've been thing? in here two months. And Dude, never... I lived in this thing when I first got down here. I bet you it gets really hot with this. There was no floor, no walls. So you fixed all this? Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah, all this needed it to do. It took me two weeks, really, by myself to... Yeah. There's walls behind there. All wood walls now, wood floor. Nice, nice. Did you ever have uh, any trouble with bears or anything? Yes. Oh, you do yeah, have trouble? Three different bears. Oh, wow. Right here. The bears have actually been all the way huh? to yeah, town. Wow, jeez. Fifth <laughs> Street, they've seen a bear. Really? Did they ever try to get your food? No, they usually stay away from me. Oh, they do? Okay. They're just... Um, just curious. They're not, yeah, they're just curious. They're actually wanting the, what's on the beach, like a seal. Oh, uh, okay. Or the fish. Yep. There's millions of fish. Millions, there's blueberries behind me. Oh, yeah. Millions of blueberries. Yeah. That's what they're basically So they kind of just mind their own business? Yep. <laughs> and this is the outhouse I kind of built. The, hey, in this, this little shack right here, I went through that Oh, cool. You got you made your own outhouse? Yeah. Oh, nice. That was a bear alarm. Something oh, something you can hear. There's yeah. the big dredge back there that we this went through. The, oh, it is? It's right up here? Oh, there it is. That's dredge number six right there. Yeah, this is a tailing run, Nick. Okay. The water would, so, so the water would just go through the dredge and come this way. Drain the tundra and every gold that was in the tundra is coming down through here. Have you had water yeah. come through here yet? When I stayed here, once. there was tons of water coming One through here. One time I've had yeah. water. You got flooded out once? One time. But not enough to really run any box. Just. Yeah. I 
I think oh, I had some, tried. I had some serious water coming under this fucking when I was there. <laughs> I went through that real bad storm in this do you, thing. Do you pick blueberries? Blueberries up here. Yeah, they're everywhere. Tons of them. Oh, nice. Tons of blueberries. You can just go right there by that barrel and grab a handful. They're, they're everywhere. So you can have fresh blueberry pancakes. <laughs> fresh blueberry pancakes. <laughs> That's cool. Is a, is a tundra frozen? Can you dig down and have no, a freezer? You can, you can dig down a long ways. Oh, okay, so it's well, not cold so enough for an icebox? You'd probably have to go down, I'd say, six, eight feet to get, okay. to get cold enough. So you can't have an icebox in there? Well, you could. Oh, you could? But I it's cold enough? You'd have to dig pretty deep right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Being peak of summer, I don't think it'll start getting, it should start cooling off. I think yeah. this is going to be our best month, and yeah. then it'll start to start cooling off. Man, of course, really we catch surprised. salmon right here in front of the right here in front of the shack. We've caught nine of them right here, just casting. Really? Oh, so you can catch dinner right in your front right yard. In front yard. <laughs> That's cool. But these are what you want to look for. This is a meteorite. Oh no way! Wow, that's heavy. Hey, that is really heavy. Look at that. Wow, yeah. Did you find that digging? I found that over there, about Did a quarter mile. Wow. Yeah, that's a meteorite. It might be worth some money. Yeah, that might be worth some cash. <laughs> it's worth quite a bit of money. I would have that checked out, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm going yeah. to. Bring it to the college. <laughs> yeah, we have a guest quarters for... Oh, you got a little guest tent? My buddy Frank checking up in there right now. Yeah. Shit, man, you did, all, you did a lot of work here, dude. Yeah, I got to replace this board that busted through, but... Yep. <laughs> nice. I'll well, get to it <laughs> in, a t in time. <laughs> That's cool. That was really neat. <laughs> this is the, the beach life. <laughs> the beach life. The, li the life of a beach miner. It's actually, actually for... I bet it's peaceful. It is. <laughs> yeah, I know, huh? I mean, our, our got, beds are shit. Compared my, to that. This is my smoker I built for when I catch my salmon, I smoke them. Oh, really? Yeah, let's go check that out. So you catch a salmon right in your front yard and you throw them in here? Catch them, yeah, I, I, no, the door's over there. Okay. It actually held up. And you always have plenty of firewood with the, the driftwood here? Plenty of firewood, usually on the beach. Yeah. I've been picking a lot of firewood, but there's always good wood to get. There's always something. Yeah. This is my smoker. I hang the fish on the racks. Get the fire going through the... Oh, cool. So you just make a little fire right down there in the center? Out here in this box. Yep, okay. By your knee. This box is where the fire is. Oh, you fire smoke right goes, here. The smoke goes through the chimney. All right, so you light the fire right down in there, and it tunnels through, goes in there, and right out the top, huh? Right out the top. How long do you smoke a salmon for? A long time. Yeah? <laughs> all day? 10 hours, 12 hours. Yeah, all day. Sometimes, depending on how much... If I really want to cook it fast, I can put the fire under in there a little uh -huh. for the more heat. But depending on the wind and the, how much wood you have. Yeah, yeah. A lot of variables, but you have to it, wait for some good take, weather. It takes. I usually ten to twelve hours. Oh yeah. At least. And how long will the fish last after it's smoked? Months. Really? Okay. It's all winter. So you could just have it. You could vacuum seal it last forever almost. Wow. Like you buy it in the store back in yeah. really But if you wanted to, you could just have it on the shelf and it'll last all winter. Last wow. All winter long. Oh. All winter. It's really <laughs> That's cool. Really good stuff. This is awesome. Life of a gnome beach miner. Yeah. And you're doing really good. You're getting lots of gold, you're getting salmon, you got nice place to live. Nice view. That's a world class view right there. Hell yeah. When I well I was in a tent. I had the tent right there. Down this way? Yeah. But the bears kept walking by me. Oh, really? And so I asked the guys if I, that were working on the machine. I asked them who owned it. And I said, you know, is it all right if I fix it up and stay in there? And yeah. I said, sure, go ahead. And then I, about a week later, I asked them again. I said, okay, I'm starting to fix it up now. Are you make sure that I want to be able, you know, have permission to be in there? Cause right. Yeah. That's a lot of work to fix that up, yeah. you know, yeah. and the bears, and yeah, yeah, good, so go ahead, it's okay. Cool. So, but I actually didn't do much mining for the first one. I've been here, here, since June, so, well, June, over two months, um, 
haven't really gotten to do much mining because I've been fixing up building and the camp. Yeah, yeah, building the camp. Yeah, building the camp basically. But you getting enough gold to buy your food and supplies and stuff, right? Yeah, excellent for so sure. Right, caught up now. Yep. right here at like if tomorrow I'll run a pile, then Sunday I'll run another pile. So this will all be gone. Okay, and there should be hopefully a half ounce of gold. Wow thousand dollars ain't bad no three geez piles of dirt. Yeah. three piles of dirt a half ounce yeah. wow and if you had a little bit I of had, bigger of equipment you could run a lot more huh we dug a hole just about 10 feet in front of your front tire yeah got an ounce one day in a day you got an ounce and then over here Jeez. i got six grams one day it's not as good over here as it is over here yeah so it's definitely spotty right here i got four grams it's but it was bigger gold. You can yeah. see it was bigger. It was bigger gold. It's, <laughs> it's small. It's smaller than it's gradually getting bigger as it got pushed into this bank. Yeah. And the waves pushed it up. That's really cool. It's taken me three years to find it. <laughs> yeah. A lot of hard work. That's for sure. Three years. But I can go on the Middle Beach, find gold. I can go on the East Beach, find gold. Yeah. And go to the bluffs and find gold. Yeah. At the bluffs, it's basically you could mine the beach just like this if, if you get permission of whoever owns it. But mm -hmm. we were just camped there. I was there for a week. Fixing, I know the owner who owns the. Bluffs. I was there for a week fixing the, the reaper and all Chris Kelly's motors, the air compressor, the generator. Cool. The Bayliner 90 horse motor. <laughs> I dug a huge hole in the middle of the bluffs on the beach, about six feet deep. I could stand in it. Wow. And I had to tilt his motor. So I could tell what you lower your unit off. There's the only way I could figure out how to do it because the boat was laying on the beach. No. You have to turn that motor so I can tear that off to do it right. You know, I can't even put it all back together sideways and everything. I could have, but it would have been nightmares. So I did get his 90 horse running. It's been a week in the middle of nowhere fixing all this <laughs> stuff. Jeez. But it was okay. Yeah, yeah, that that's was my cool. First season. Didn't get much accomplished that year. Second year, mine got 12 ounces. Wow. Right here off the beach. 12 ounces? 12 ounces. Right on the beach, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. And then this year, I'm just getting started. And I've gotten over a half ounce already. Half ounce in just, just, just in a week. In a week, wow. That's crazy. Since I started. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. But I'm gonna be doing a lot better, as you can see. Yeah. Where's your favorite place to beach mine? Uh, down about 300 yards. Okay, so on this beach? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Actually, there's a green hose of mine still there that got washed last year. The storm was bad. I couldn't even, I couldn't get rescue my stuff. The four wheeler got picked up and pushed to the side of the bank. <laughs> oh no. I remember that storm. <laughs> what, it just come right in? B it was Bad crazy. storm? Yeah, that was yeah. crazy. And, uh, Look at the, the water. Waves. The water dude was all the way up to the I lost a thousand dollars that day. Wow. I lost a thousand dollars, six hundred dollars worth of matting. Ouch. Gone. Ouch. Right out of my box. The waves took everything. Gold. The matting. Oh <laughs> man. The wheeler up and floated it and sat it right up like on next to the bank. Oh uh, jeez. It was time to get the hell out of there then. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we that grabbed sucks. what we could and back to town. Wow. The garden hole is still up there and it's destroyed. That was a $90 garden hose here in Nome. Oh man. For a garden hose. Yeah. $90. Everything's pricey up here. Oh my god. <laughs> well, all right, man. It was nice talking to you. Awesome. Thank you very much for the uh, interview there, yeah. Roger. Showing yeah, us nice around. Meeting nice meeting you. We'll let you know when that's coming out and we'll give you a, a little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you ever need any, uh, a real life beach miner here in Nome. Day <laughs> off and. Yeah. Uh, Tom will build a bonfire and. Yeah, back. definitely. Oh, we'll yeah. have a party and. Uh, some salmon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, good luck. Yeah, good go. luck, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Strike it rich. Thanks. Later.